Good afternoon. My name is Diane Pestalozzi. I'm the Dean of Health Sciences and Human Services at Saddleback College in Mission Viejo, California. Nursing programs educate over 50, community college nursing programs educate over 50% of all pre-licensure registered nurses in California. Community college registered nursing programs offer social mobility to underserved socioeconomically disadvantaged students, veterans, and second career students without the burden of crushing education related debt. AB 1364 will result in a reduction in the quality of nursing education in the state of California and will reduce our ability to provide a low-cost pathway to the profession of registered nursing. Thus, we respectfully oppose AB 1364. AB 1364 proposes to utilize regional and national accreditation as a proxy for BRN regulation. Regulation and accreditation are very different things. BRN regulations are enforceable and set minimum standards and criteria that must be met. These regulations include minimal faculty and curriculum requirements, as well as a collegial process to ensure equal distribution of limited but essential clinical placements. To replace BRN regulation with accreditation removes patient protections and puts patients at risk. This legislation is sponsored by institutions that seek to increase enrollment without BRN regulation. As a result of the rapid growth of 12 new pre-licensure programs in Orange County, many well-established, in the last 10 years, many well-established, high-performing, nationally accredited community college programs have been forced to decrease enrollment. Two years ago, all four Orange County community colleges were notified that they would no longer be able to have clinical placements at the primary pediatric facility in Orange County. I was noted at, it was noted at this time that a relatively new, rapidly growing private nursing program made a donation to the pediatric facility of more than $2 million and had coincidentally three times more clinical placements than the four community colleges combined. Fortunately, thanks to BRN intervention, compromises were made between the pediatric facility and the community colleges. And although the community colleges decreased clinical placements by 40%, clinical placements were preserved. We are grateful for the BRN advocacy, which was essential in reaching the compromise. Without their intervention, a low cost pathway to the registered nursing prevention profession would not have been preserved in Orange County. AB 1364 poses a threat to the long-term sustainability of community colleges, community college nursing programs across the state. 30 a seconds left. I'd like to turn it over to Curtis. Good, good afternoon, Curtis Lang with the California Nurses Association. CNA is opposed to AB 1364 and the amendments. I'll just sum it up by saying CNA is opposed to, in addition to what Diane just said, CNA is opposed to the amendments which would increase simulation uh, up to 50% of the total number of clinical hours rather than existing laws cap on the number of hours of allowable simulation in a particular course. This effectively means that 100% of an individual course could be simulation rather than direct patient care experience as long as no more than 50% of the total number of clinical hours was simulation. Thank you very much. Additional witnesses wishing to speak in opposition, please feel free to come with the microphone, name and affiliation if you wish to do so. Thank you, Chair Lowen. Members, Mitch Steiger with the California Labor Federation, also in opposition. Mr. Chairman, members, Mark Mendoza with SEIU California. We're at a concerns position and appreciate the sponsor's willingness to work with us on the language. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, members, David Nevin on behalf of the South Orange County Community College District in opposition. Mr. Chairman, members, Ryan McElhaney with Community College League on California, testify on California's 72 Community College District's behalf uh, in opposition. Chair members, Austin Webster on behalf of the Coast Community College District, Rancho Santiago Community College District, and the Orange County Community College Legislative Task Force in opposition. Ibrahim Majid from the California Community College Chancellor's Office. While we do oppose this bill today, we appreciate the analysis and the amendments. We are still reviewing those amendments and we look forward to working with the author if the bill moves forward today. Thank you. Helen Roth Dowden, SEIU Local 1000, representing the state workers. We're working with through the state council, but at this point, we oppose, we have very deep concerns over this bill. Stephanie Goldman on behalf of the California Community College Association for Occupational Education and Opposition. Mr. Chair and members, Linda Zorn representing the California Organization of Associate Degree Nursing in Opposition. Thelma Harris, representing California Board of Registered Nursing, representing more than 500,000 registered nurses, and we are in opposition. Ellen Cesaretti, on behalf of the California State University, we have no official position at this time. We will continue to analyze the bill and the amendments as presented, and we thank the author for 
her work and we will continue to work with her in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. And seeing no additional witnesses wishing to speak in opposition, any questions or comments from committee members at this time? Assembly Member Cunningham. Thank you. I have a comment and one question, I, I believe probably for the opposition. Uh, it occurs to me that there is a serious nursing shortage in California. Uh, it also occurs to me, I'll share this just on a personal anecdote. My mom went through a, an RN program at our local community college. She went back to work in her 50s. Um, she had to wait an entire year because of an artificial limitation on the number of spots. Uh, she was admitted, but just had to sit for a year waiting for the spots to open up at, the, at our local community college. So I know from that, I mean, that was probably seven, eight years ago, maybe 10, but I, I know from that that the, these programs are definitely impacted and we have a nursing shortage. I hear the concerns about uh, the, the lack of oversight or whatever you want to call it, but as I understand this bill, it's limited to to programs that can still show an 80% pass rate on the, on the boards. So could you address why that, that, uh, that does, doesn't that address your concern? I mean, these people still have to take the national test and they still have to, to pass 80% in order for their programs to, to remain valid under this bill. To address, sorry. So to address the pass rate, um, the pass rate is only part of the, the um, competency evaluation which um, is a, the didactic part, of course. We're concerned, especially with the simulation and the hands-on patient care experiences, that would be cut back by increasing the amount of time in simulation relative to actual patient care experiences, as well as the limitation on the BRN regulations that are in place to uh, um, regulate the, um, the quality of the educational process, minimum qualifications for curriculum, minimum faculty qualifications, and um, to um, help with the clinical displacement issues that exist. Assembly member, uh, I'd like to address the nursing shortage. This bill is based on the so-called nursing, nursing shortage, uh, but the report the proponents rely on uh, is not consistent with any other study that has looked at California's nursing uh, workforce needs. UCF call, UCSF has called this study an outlier. Instead, UCSF has found a sufficient supply of nurses graduating from nursing programs and surpluses in the LA region, which includes Orange and Ventura counties, and the Sacramento and Inland Empire uh, regions. So one of the primary justifications for this bill doesn't even exist, which is the so-called nursing shortage. With the chair's indulgence, can I ask if the supporting witnesses would like to address either uh, the comments and response? Oh, well, I will just address, I sit on aging and long-term care, and I understand that there are overages in LA County in the more uh, affluent or dense counties, but uh, yesterday's aging and long-term care uh, meeting addressed the issue that we don't have enough workforce in the Central Valley. And I appreciate that uh, because I'm from LA County, uh, that we have an overage in LA County. However, I'm talking about the whole entire state, and this doesn't address the issues that are uh, in the rural areas. And I do represent LA County. However, I'm also a representative of the state of California. And so we can't pick and choose which, er which areas have more and the ones that don't have enough, well, too bad for them. For me, I want to address the issue, especially with the um, silver tsunami that's coming. Um, they're all, there are old people in the valley too, and they need care. Our uh, long-term care facilities have a shortage. And so if we are going to talk about statistics, uh, and there's a uh, shortage in parts of California, that needs to be addressed as well. And just further, we don't cap the amount of teachers that go to the school, attorneys, we don't cap the amount of any other professions, and I don't see why we would cap a, um, this critical uh, component of our healthcare workforce. So that's my opinion, but in terms of the, the technical uh, issues, George, do you wanna talk about that? Yeah, one, I don't think we disagree with community colleges that simulation is one portion and, and the, the exam is one portion and, and you got to look at the body as a whole. I also don't think that you get any, um, we also agree that if a community college seats are available, that is the lowest cost option and we're not, that, that is in fact the case and if community college seats are available, that's a great option, especially if you want to get in and do your ADN. If you want to go beyond that or what have you, there are other options, and it, it is an issue. I mean, and the, the, the clinical slots are an issue. We're not trying to open up the floodgates here. We are trying to. We 
I think the committee has put in some good amendments. We, the committee offered amendments about making contributions to hospitals, as it was alleged or mentioned, I should say, a moment ago to put a prohibition in place. The committee put in a, a, a cohort default rate, which is actually less than half of what it would take to be able to be eligible for uh, a Cal grant. So you actually have to perform at twice the level of an institution qualifying for Cal grants. So I think the committee has done a lot to, to, to take the bill and actually take it and make it a better bill, to be honest with you, than, than it was as we introduced it. And I think that the, the sponsors want to work with the opposition. I had, a, I had a really good meeting with representatives from SEIU last Thursday. It was very encouraging. I think we agreed that we would continue to work moving forward. And I think that's what everyone here wants. We do not have this manifest destiny of, you know, we're gonna grab all of these slots and, and that shouldn't be the case because the community colleges are important. You know, my father's a grad, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's important. Thank you very much. Uh, Assemblymember Fong. Just to follow on Assemblymember Cunningham's um, uh, questions, and, I, and maybe it's directed to the opposition as well. As someone who represents the Central Valley and uh, Kern County, we clearly have waiting lists in our community colleges and our universities. And we also we definitely do have a nursing shortage uh, in, in the Central Valley. And so uh, in terms of addressing that, uh, how barring this bill, which I, I'm going to support today because I believe that it's going to continue to be negotiated and, uh, to, and, and be improved upon, uh, how, how would, do we get more nurses in the Central Valley? The big cap that you referred to is, is really not the number of nurses that can be educated, but it's the number of clinical placements that exist in the community to provide the education that's necessary for the hours and, of uh, clinical instruction that are required and educational opportunities that are, are needed in order to meet the objectives of the nursing program. So when growth is centered in a central area, a specific area, hospitals and healthcare agencies are overrun with requests to support nursing students 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the cap exists in the clinical placements. When a new program comes in and clinical placements are full or capped and have no more room, someone has to leave. They have to make room. And historically, it's been the community college students who are displaced by the growing programs that have grown without regulation and very rapidly. If I may add, I don't believe that these uh, schools, the sponsors, uh, are adding uh, more schools, these private schools in the Central Valley, or am I mistaken? You mentioned that there was a Well, the question was how are we going to address it? I do know that Western Governors University is actively looking at partnerships in the Valley. I know that they are in discussions with the Correctional Hospital in, I believe it is, Stockton about partnering with them on uh, being able to do clinical rotations so that they are very much um, looking to work in those areas. I think they're also looking to work in to partnership in Northern California as well in areas that there are um, more acute thank, shortages. Thank you, thank you. I just and, want to make sure that, uh, yeah, that's somebody from. Sure, and I, 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 I'm not, my question is not specific to any specific schools. Uh, my, my question is just in, in terms of there is a need uh, I think our hospitals certainly are looking uh, to to hire more nurses. We, they are now forced to bring uh, nurses from overseas, um, you know, on, on tra travel nurses as well. And so, I mean, from from my perspective, there's a, a clear. I mean, uh, people's lives and health outcomes are, are are being impacted right now because of our lack of, of nurses coming to the Central Valley, barring any other area, uh, L.A., Southern California. Uh, Northern California. Uh, so in, in terms of trying to address a specific need in my community, um, I, I, I'm just curious in terms of how we address that barring putting more nurses in the pipeline. Was it, was it just a statement? Thank you, thank you very much, Senator Fong. Um, we'll just uh, go on to the, uh, any other member, Assemblywoman Woman Cork Silva. Uh, yes, um, to the author, I'm sorry to not have the conversation before as I'm subbing today, but this conversation, as far as the comments were made, as far as the placements, and uh, sometimes one of the speakers noted that there was a contribution 
Uh, and then there was a scenario that developed uh, between all of a sudden one of the community colleges didn't have the placements uh, that they uh, usually expected so that their students could get the actual practice. Um, and that actually has occurred uh, as I've had um, in my local district, uh, Cypress College, which is well known for their nursing program, the director uh, speak to me about how uh, they uh, have a huge impact on their program when uh, they can't get the placement after the students are uh, doing their um, basic work and now they need to be placed. One of the other issues is we have a private college that is within the same uh, radius and it, and it appeared that those students were being taken ahead of the, the community college students. So uh, without giving too much more detail about that, it is a big concern as I know in here often that our students are waiting. They may even uh, attend one community college and then uh, take coursework there at Fullerton College and then transfer to the other one, but they're still waiting. So at this point, I'm going to be a non-vote just because I don't have enough information, but I definitely want to sit down and find out uh, more about this uh, as there it seems to be mixed information of uh, do we have nurses moving through the pipeline or uh, are there, uh, I continue to hear about us getting nurses from other countries and so forth. So I'd like to hear more about it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any additional questions at this time for any the author? Seeing no additional questions or comments, Assemblymember Rubio, do you wish to close? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this is simply about access. I'm a community college, a product of East Los Angeles College myself. And so I believe in the community college education, but I also believe in access for folks that don't have um, the luxury of waiting uh, in my particular area, especially in East Los Angeles College. Waiting another year just means waiting another year to start a career that, that not only will help the community because it's about health access, but also as a community college graduate, I was able to get to work immediately. And so expanding access to these programs will help. And again, sitting in uh, aging and long-term care gave me the, the, the snapshot about non-LA County folks that there is a shortage throughout the state and again I represent uh, the 48th Assembly District in LA County but I'm also a California representative and my job I, as I see it is to um, provide access to all of the community so that we all can thrive together um, and so with that I would respectfully ask for your eye vote. Thank you very much, Assemblyman Rubio. This does enjoy a due pass recommendation. I know that you are going to be continued uh, with respect uh, to focus on the quality controls and the clinical displacement uh, should this bill move forward. Uh, there's been a motion and a second. Committee Secretary, please call the roll. AD 1364, motion is due pass as amended to appropriations. Low. Aye. Low aye. Bro. Bloom. Bloom aye. Chen. Chen aye. Chu. Cunningham. Cunningham aye. Dolly. Eggman. Eggman aye. Fong. Fong aye. Gibson. Gibson aye. Gloria. Grayson, Holden, Holden I, Irwin, McCarty, McCarty I, Medina, Medina I, Mullen, Mullen I, Obernulty, Obernulty I, Cork Silva, Cork Silva, no, Ting, Ting I. That bill has 13 votes. We'll leave the roll open for additional members. Thank you. Thank you very much. Members, we are.